Welcome back to the ball, everyone. I am your insightful and sexy host. At least that's what I tell myself. The Headbanger. Welcome back to Season 4 of Horrors Ball. Uh, in case you missed it, we of course started the season off as we do annually with the Golden Horn Awards celebrating the best in horror from the previous year. So if you missed that, go back, check it out. If you watched it, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. One final congratulations to Anna Viral for winning Best Horror Picture of 2013. 2014 now, ready to get going here. Um, not a lot to get to, but a few things I like to do this episode. Got some cool indie horror, brand new indie horror um, that I want to talk about quickly. But uh, a couple things before we start, a couple self-promotion items. Uh, if you're into doom, black metal, my, uh, my band Where She Wept, our new, uh, new album, brand new album came out a few weeks ago, tomorrow. Um, if you're interested in that type of music at all or like us at all, uh, give me a message here on YouTube or for friends on Facebook, message me. Um, band also has a Facebook page you can find on there. You can uh, get the album on Bandcamp as well for five bucks digitally if you like it. The hard copy version um, comes with a cool booklet and, and some other stuff. Uh, just give me a message, let me know if you're interested. Uh, little Headbanger, my daughter's film Zombie Kids that she shot um, over the summer this past year. Uh, an update on that for you guys, I know some of you out there care. Uh, probably this spring, as in hopefully a month or two, we'll try to actually press some DVDs of it. Uh, not many, but if you're interested, let me know. And some really cool no news on that front that I'm really excited about, and of course she's very excited about. Zombie Kids will be screening at Days of the Dead in Indianapolis this June. Uh, obviously it's amazing because it's it's become my favorite convention now. I think it's the, the most fan-friendly convention right now um, going. So it's just a huge honor for our, you know, the whole Headbanger family. A big thank you to Adolfo at Days of the Dead and particularly uh, Jason over at uh, Jad Pictures who really, really is really making this happen. So uh, very much appreciate the support. Hope is just, uh, little Headbanger is just, you know, off the wall excited so uh, it's gonna make an already great time be that much more exciting come June for a zombie kid screening okay indie horror some new stuff I did a review on this film um, several months back by uh, directed by Keith Voigt jr. but this is now uh, I, did a, I did the review on army these are a couple of short films uh, this is out now though that you can finally actually buy it cool thing is through toe tag pictures we all know and love toe tag and you get this DVD it's cheap it comes with his short film Army, which I, again I'll put the link to my review um, below, and another short film they call Lust. Um, there's actually some other stuff on there. There's one, an even shorter film called Sandwich. There's some uh, bonus features like behind the scenes trailers, but uh, really cool. It's, I think it's really cool that Toe Tag is putting this out. Um, you know, supporting the indie scene. They're obviously masters of, of that scene for many years now, and then giving a hand out and uh, trying to push some filmmakers that are really talented and. Uh, Definitely recommend this one. These are there's a hundred of them numbered. I have of course 69, and uh, I be, I'm pretty sure a majority of these. I don't know if it's the first 50 or whatever, but as you can see, it's signed by uh, Keith and some cast members there. So really cool. Go to Toe Tag, um, their website. You can pick this up again. Very cheap. Um, Lost is uh, I hadn't seen Lost um, until recently after I purchased this, and uh, much like Army, really cool. Um, you know, this is very low budget stuff, not a big budget to work with, of course, um, be an indie short film, but um, did a really good job. You can definitely see the potential in, in Keith. Uh, based, uh, Lust is basically about a, a girl uh, becomes obsessed with a guy that she can't have. This guy's engaged, uh, but she's not taking no for an answer. She works at a coffee shop. They always see each other because he comes in to get his, uh, his morning fuel or whatever. And uh, let's just say things progress. Cool thing about both these films. Uh, Army and Lust, I could see, and this is a compliment, I could see both of these films being uh, good enough uh, in, in story-wise that they could be full-length movies. I really think you could really expand on both of these stories. Um, Army about, you know, a guy coming back from, you know, doing time in war and stuff and how that affects him, and then Lust, how kind of like obsession affects you. I think both of these could have been full-length films, but very well done. Uh, again, I'm really excited to see what he does in the future and definitely looking forward to see a full-length uh, film by Keith. So again, check that out on Toe Tag Pictures. Uh, this one, another indie film, by uh, comes to us from our good friends in Denmark. This is a film by, I'm going to butcher this, I'm sorry, Casper Jewel. That's what I'm going with. Um, Madness of Many 
and you get this off the website. I'll put links to both these uh, below the video. Uh, just really cool indie flick. Uh, this is, it's 73 minutes, so basically a full length film. Uh, I don't want to get too into this, but quickly say this woman here, this uh, lovely lady, she, um, right off the bat, basically uh, via narration, we're told that this young woman has had a really awful childhood. Um, she had shitty parents, and she's gone through a lot of hell throughout her life. And basically, you see, um, set before you see, basically her, again, there's narration pretty much throughout the whole film, and you're just shown the struggles that she's gone with, how, it's, how it has affected her mentally, physically, and um, it's one of those films I don't want to give too much away because I think if you go in as, as fresh and clean as possible, I think it, it's more entertaining that way. It's a very artsy film, though. It's definitely, I would call it art house horror, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, I like when filmmakers don't sell the viewer short by, you know, the, everything has to be explained to you, everything has to be written out. It's not like that with this. I think there's a lot of, there's a good balance, I think, of metaphor and reality, um, a lot of symbolism. And uh, I think because of those elements, it, it uh, leads to good repeat viewings, I think. I definitely can't wait to watch this again. One of those films you pick up on stuff, um, pick up on some meaning the more you watch it. It's got a, uh, if you're into Von McGore trilogy, if you're into Good Looking Chicks puking, definitely will enjoy this one. There is some of that in it. Uh, as far as for your gore hounds, I want to call this a gory film, but the final act has some really cool gore gags. I actually, it, I actually wish there was more gore. I'm not a guy that has to have gore in a horror film, but because of how well done the gore was, the gore was towards the end of the film, I would have just liked to have seen more of it because they did such a good job with it. But it looks really good. Um, you know, again, much like the other ones, this is very low budget. The, the setting is shot basically in maybe one or two locations, pretty much. Uh, but he just he does a great job making it look uh, very good. There's a, a cool guy with this one of these cool like white masks in the film can't really see it on any here but uh yeah just really cool film i can't wait to watch it again and uh highly recommend it art house horror about this this girl has just had a, a shitty life and uh and uh yeah it's just really cool limited hunter copies he signed this again i'll leave the link highly recommended really look excited for he has a new film coming out monstrosity i believe really looking forward to that and this is his basically his debut film so uh, a lot of potential there and I just love seeing uh, young filmmakers who uh, have a bright future in horror and I, I love supporting these people and uh, these are two great guys too so you're, you want to support them and you want to see them go out and do great things and uh, I, I'm pretty confident they will uh, and then lastly guys kind of a short episode today believe it or not I want to do a shout outs I've not done shout outs in a very long time and I apologize for that because it, it you know it's important in this community especially with all the drama that happens every here and then. Um, now and then, it, it's good to get these shout-outs to people, support people. Quickly, uh, kind of on the note of the indie uh, horror film scene, there's a cool group that's on Facebook now. They also have a website. I'll put the link. It's called Beneath the Underground. Gaining a lot of momentum. I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, run by a really awesome guy. Uh, and it's, it's just, it's just a, a Facebook page. You can go on there and basically, you can if you've made a film, you can put it on there try to promote it, but there's, it's all about support and positivity, and it's not just fans, there's actually actual filmmakers on the indie note, big names too, Fred Vogel's on there, Ryan Nicholson, uh, Dustin Mills, Marcus Cook, just to name a few, um, all on there supporting each other, you know, fans supporting the filmmakers, filmmakers supporting the fans, it's a really cool give and take, all positive. Uh, when I told him about um, Farmer Vincent, he goes by on the, on the page, I told him about Little Headbangers movie, Zombie Kids. He jumped all over to support it. I put the trailer on there. He put a little write-up on his site. Like, just right off the bat, immediately ready to support. Much appreciated. Very cool. Again, I'll put the link. They have a website as well. Um, just a really cool site. Um, happy to support it. Beneath the Underground Rocks. A uh, couple guys on YouTube here. You guys are probably thinking, too, Headbanger, you can't remember a couple, a handful of shout-outs. Three seasons ago, maybe, but I'm three years older, so my mind's not as good as it used to be. So I had to write them down. Uh, first one, Spanners Germ 669. Basically, really cool YouTuber. Basically does uh, just reviews of films. Uh, kind of just more uh, obscure, ex extreme films. Not just horror. There's some dramas, but he does a lot of horror on there. And uh, I've been watching him for a long time. Um, definitely one of my go-to channels. You know, we're all pressed for time. And, uh, you know, you have the certain ones that you just try, try and never miss or at least put in your watch later column and he just does 
really good reviews. Unlike me, he's able to keep things very uh, concise and doesn't take forever to, to talk. And uh, so just a really good job at reviewing films. The films he picks are really cool. I mean, majority of the time they're films that I've heard of, but uh, there's been a few occasions where he's definitely um, shed some light on a film that I was unaware of. Um, yeah, it's just does a really good job, um, does it quickly, um, gives a quick synopsis of the film and just gets right to it and tells you what he thinks of it and whether or not he recommends it or not. So check him out. There's a lot of cool reviews on some really cool extreme underground films, a lot of foreign, mostly foreign stuff, but uh, definitely check him out. Spanish Germ 669. I forget what his real name is. I apologize. Um, but go sub him and more importantly, watch his vids. Put him in your rotation. Another one that I just kind of just gotten into, there's not too many people that, um, at least lately, that have kind of like just discovered in the community. That's why shout outs are so important, kind of tune around to somebody you, you weren't aware of. It goes by Spooky Rotten Fun. Again, I don't even know what his actual name is, but I just got into him fairly recently. Uh, he's a younger guy. Um, I just like seeing someone kind of that's a little younger that's in the process of building their horror collection. I think that's really fun to watch. So he'll he'll get something, or he'll get um, a stack of films, show them off, and uh, it's just cool. And he's he's got great taste um, already. Just getting into kind of building up his classic collection. On one video, he was showing some uh, Mario Baba films, who of course is my favorite horror director, if you know me. And it's just cool seeing that. He's very passionate, and I can tell that his collection is going to go uh, grow very quickly. He recently did a review on uh, Abominable, a uh, film that I love. Chatterfest that I, of course, uh, featured on uh, our Bigfoot Week here at Horse Ball. So go check them out. Give them some sub love. Tell them the Headbanger sent you. And lastly, I only had a couple guys. I'll try to do more next time. Uh, this is a guy that I don't think I may have done a shout-out maybe a while back for him. I really don't think I did. I was going through my little shout-out videos and didn't really see him. And it's a fucking shame because this is long overdue, man. I seriously... He does so much, he does so many videos, I can't really get to them all, but I usually put them in my watch later list, get to them when I can, and that's Mood616, um, you know, we've been talking for a while, quite a while now, probably at least a year, if not longer, um, just awesome, I mean, you guys know him, he doesn't need me to give him a shout out, but um, yeah, he just, I love that he does themes, he always does themes, and the fact that I do like themed episodes and stuff, I can really respect that, he does, he does that, he'll pick a year, and you know, randomly review films from a particular year. He did the 1981 series. Really cool. He did a, a rat week where it's just all horror films about rats. Um, I saw recently, this was kind of a few months old, but he did a Lamberto Bava week, which I had missed when he originally did it. So I've been catching up on that. Very cool. It's a lot of cool stuff. He shows his collection. He's got a great horror film collection. Um, Well-spoken guy, great taste. Uh, I mean, all the videos I watch of him, I'd say we probably agree on films 90% of the time. So uh, if you have similar views to me, you obviously have a great taste. So, um, and one more thing on him is uh, if I, I would always, I would love to have like my own radio horror show. If I like won the lottery or something, I bought a radio station and to have like a horror radio show. I gotta say, he would be my right hand man because he has a killer voice. He has an awesome like badass radio voice. So uh, yeah man. Charge to all of you. Go sub them all. Support them if you don't already. Um, a lot of cool people. YouTube is still going strong. It's nice to see Scotty, Willie Mark, one come back. He was gone for a while. So uh, still strong, still going. And I hope you continue to watch me. As long as you guys watch me, I'll continue to do it. Yeah, that's all I got today, guys. I know it's, this is like a pretty short episode, at least for me, even though it's still going to be, you know, 15 minutes long or whatever. But next episode... Um, Really busy right now with everything. Um, I'll try to get in a new episode as quickly as I can. Maybe a film review. But again, to recap, indie horror, man. It's it's going strong. There's a lot of films coming up that I'm really excited about on the indie scene. Uh, I just love the support of indie horror scene. Check out Beneath the Underground. You guys rock. Keith Foyt, Army and Lust. Get this off the Toe Tag website. Madness of Many by Casper Jewell. I'm, I know I'm fucking your name up. Uh, did I say Jasper? Casper Jewell. Anyway. Go check this out. Limited 100 copies. Can't wait for his new film. Another thing I gotta say about this one is, had a really cool score. I really enjoyed the score. I know he's in a band as well, like me. And uh, kind of more of a minimalist score, but I think it worked really well for a film like this. I don't think you want something too abrasive to ruin the vibe of the film. Love me some Iron House Horror, man. He, he knocked it out of the park with this one. Uh, can't wait for the next one. That's it, guys. Support Indie Horror. We'll talk to you soon. 
Stay scared. I'm out. Later.